What's up everyone? How are you doing today? My name is Kef and today I am going to be playing group 7 round 3 of our group buy. I know, I know, group 7 round 2 wasn't great, but who knows what we can do on this round. It just takes one, just one, to make a killin'. Yep, you heard me right, a killin'. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna do some par fives. We've got 19 tickets, the jackpot's still out there, it's a good day, the weather's nice, and I almost found my motorcycle, and just things are good. Things are good in life. We have serial number 1419919. I really like the serial number. I hope, I hope we pull something off, because we got the Houdini coin. The Houdini coin, the coin that makes magic happen in our scratchers, as you've seen firsthand on the other videos. Okay, let's see. If we get a power 25 to start, that proves it. 100% proves it. Okay, it's not 100% because we didn't get it, but it can still prove itself. It's actually proven itself already, and we're gonna continue using it. Hopefully, we can pull something nice, and yeah. Win money, win some money. You guys wanna win some money? I wanna win some money. That would be great, because I'm in this group as well, and winning money is a priority. I wanna win money for the fans and for everyone else in this group. Okay, so this coin is a little rough. As you can see, it damages the ticket at times, but hey, you gotta be rough with the tickets if you want to demand money from it. That's what you gotta do. That is what you have to do. Okay, let's see, Zero, three, one. I got some rest. I'm feeling much better, everything is good. I hope you guys are doing good. And I've been actually working hard at the scratcher videos so that I can finally get to the $30 books. Yep, the $30 books. I'm gonna be doing the videos this weekend. That's my goal, that is my goal at least, okay? That's my goal and hopefully we, we can get there. Hopefully we can get there. I'm trying to get these other videos out of here and hopefully pick up some wins quickly and then get to the big, big $30 books. Brooks? I almost said Brooks. Groups? Group books, yeah. The group books. Oh, I'm so excited. I know everyone is excited. Everyone is excited. You're in the group, you're excited. You're not in the group, you wanna see what those $30 books are about. Yeah, I wanna see what they're about. I have not played one yet. I have not played one yet. I am just saving my first play for the first group, okay. This one's a loss, uh-oh. Three losses, come on Houdini, let's see. Oh, you know what, I know why. Houdini is supposed to be looking at the ticket, my bad, I apologize. Okay, I flipped it over, we figured it out, there we go. This is, you know, magic's gonna happen, but Houdini needs to actually see what he's scratching. Because if you don't know, Houdini is magic. He's not, you know, he can't really see I don't think he ever did a trick where he blindfolded himself or, you know what, he probably did. But, you know, he, he needs to use his eyes for his tricks. Because even even with using his eyes, he's he makes magic happen. He makes magic happen. I don't know how, but Houdini, man. Houdini was the man. Escape artist, true, true master at his craft. Okay, still no wins. Houdini, pull out the wins here. Pull out the wins from this ticket, pull it up and give it to the group. Give it to the group. Okay, so you guys know, I've been trying to find a motorcycle and nobody is selling a used bike. Everyone in the comments is, is saying to get the Grom. I, I totally agree and I would love to get one. Problem is, nobody really has one. I did find one. Okay, we got a first win here. Thank you, Houdini, thank you. I did find a Grom, but it's expensive. And when I say expensive, I mean more like overpriced. The base price is not, but the but the dealership is trying to charge some extortionate prices, and I, I'm not gonna take that. Nope, I'm not gonna give them the money. Come on, come on dealerships, be reasonable here. Okay, we got a ticket here, we got a ticket. And you know what, if I, if I hit this jackpot, then I can definitely go buy one, no problem. But the only reason I haven't pulled the trigger is because they are trying to charge me ridiculous prices. Okay, so to give you an idea, when I bought my 250cc bike, Kawasaki, I think it's 2008, Ninja 250, that bike MSRP was, I think it was 3,600. And it was a popular bike because that was the first Kawasaki Ninja, I think what the first or the second, that was a 250 that had the sporty look to it. 
And so it was pretty popular, but I went and I paid him, I'm pretty sure I paid him MSRP for it, but at the most, I paid them 4,000 for it. I think, I wanna say MSRP was, I think it was 4,000 for that one. Okay, no win here. I think it was 4,000 and I paid 4,000. Anyway, whatever MSRP was, I paid MSRP, even though it was a popular bike. And you know, it was good, it was fine. The dealership made some money and I got a good deal on it and all was good. Okay, these dealerships. The Honda Grom is, starts at 3,200. Not starts at, but it's, you know, with the, the, the MSRP price, 3,200. And the, Kawasaki Ninja, uh, not Ninja, sorry. Kawasaki Z125 Pro is 19, uh, no, 29.99, 29.99, so 3,000. 3,200 for the Grom, 3,000 for the Kawasaki. I asked pricing for the Kawasaki. One place said $4,000. $4,000 from 3,000? Are you kidding me? And they've had the bike for a while too. It's not like they're selling as soon as they arrive. It's been there, they've had it. They even have the Grom too, that's been there since I don't even know when, but they've had it. Oh God, where are our wins? Where are our wins here? Uh oh, I'm sorry group. Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna get something, we're gonna get something. Come on Houdini, let's do it, let's do it. This is a, this is a partnership here, we gotta work together. I, I'll scratch and then you just magically pull wins out. Anyway, 4,000 is ridiculous. Um, I did find one place that's at 3,800. And you know, that's the first price they give me. So that's probably gonna be the, you know, they're gonna give me the worst price possible for the first one. So I'm actually gonna go into the dealership and I'm gonna I'm gonna see what, what they can do for me because I'm not paying 4,000. Cause I can get a 250, 300 CC for cheaper. 300 CC for cheaper. Then a 125, are you kidding me? Can't even go on the freeway. 125, I can get a 300 cc and I can have, you know, my wife on the back. I can, we can go around together. Whereas the, we got a 5X, there we go. The 125 cc will have a lot of trouble going anywhere with someone on the back with two people. So I, I really don't want to get anything bigger. You know, I wanted something small, but if it comes down to it and they're trying to charge me, you know, 300 CC prices for that car or for that bike. Oh, we got five bucks. All right. Hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. We need some wins here. We need any wins. Yeah. If they try to charge me even more, that's even more. 125 CC, they're charging me more than the 300 CC bikes. And if they're going to do that, then I might as well just get the 300 CC. But I'm planning on staying off the freeway because I just, I just don't want to get on a freeway with that, with the motorcycle. I just don't trust LA drivers. I mean, I don't trust them in cars when I'm in a car. So on a bike, yeah, they just don't care. You know, people people drive like they just don't care. They just go about their business. They're like all about me, me, me. That's just not good. You know, you gotta, you gotta look out for others. You gotta think about other people. It's not like it makes it less convenient for you. You know, when I drive, I always, I, yeah, I'm aggressive, but I, I let people in when, you know, there's no point like blocking people and like speeding in front of people. No, 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 just just treat others with respect and that means less stress. Oh, we got another 5X, less stress for them and then they will, you know, have less road rage as well because they'll be in a better mood. So that's how I see it and I, I try to be nice to people. 5X, we got a 5X at least, come on. We got four, okay, okay, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. That's a little better, that's a little better but I still wanna see some bigger wins. Let's do this, let's do this. Okay, we've got six tickets left-ish. Six tickets left. Okay, I don't I don't even remember. I'm, I usually keep track of the wins, but I forgot. It's okay, it's okay. Anyway, I, I really want a motorcycle because then I can buy these tickets faster. I can buy them faster, I can redeem them faster. That means the group buys will go quicker and I can get new stuff quicker and I can get your fan mail easier and you know I can have some some fun on the motorcycle and you know what I'll do I'm actually going to get a, an action cam something something cheap and not a GoPro I think they're I don't I don't think I need a GoPro but I will I will get an action cam and I will attach it to my bike or my helmet and then I'll, I'll actually uh, record the footage of me going to my retailers or something like that I think it'll be interesting 
and then I can chat with you and there'll be a little part, you know, before the actual scratching if you're interested. Okay, we got a five here. We got a win, we got a win. That's good, that's good. We got another one. We got two, we got two. Is that correct? Yes. We got two, let's see what we got. We got 10 bucks. And another $10 win, 20 bucks. $20 win total, another 20, okay, okay, we'll take it, we'll take it. We started with 95, we hit two 20s already, and then I think we hit a five and a five, so that's 50. Hey, we actually did better than half. I was getting worried, but we did better than half already, and we still have more tickets. Okay, thank God, thank God. All right, let's see if we can get close to break even at least. If we can do better than break even, that's always better, of course. Okay, come on, come on, let's see, let's see. Two in a row, not gonna happen. Nope, not this time. Okay, moving on, we have four more tickets. Four more tickets, I hope everyone's doing well. Hope the weather's a little better where you are. I know Northern California was nuts, it was very stormy. SoCal was stormy, SoCal is really cold, but it's getting a little bit, eh, a little warmer. Yesterday at night, like at eight, nine o'clock, it was freaking uh, 40, 45 degrees, 42 degrees or something. When we went to, uh, we went somewhere for a friend's birthday. Actually, was that yesterday? I think it was the day before. Uh, day before, yeah. And when we came out of the restaurant, it was 40, 42 degrees. Nope, that's lots of nope. That's a nope, nope, nope. I can't deal with 42 degree weather anymore. I was used to North Cal weather. You know, it's always cold. I am used to SoCal weather now. My body has adapted to the Los Angeles weather and 42 degrees, my body doesn't know how to function in 42 degrees. Nope, not at all. Okay, we've got two left. I should probably move the footage. Do we get a win up there? Nope, sorry. Sorry, this is kind of hard to see. Okay, let's, let's move the footage real quick. Jump into the next ticket. All right, friends, we've got two tickets left. Two tickets left. We didn't do too bad. Even if we lose the lose both of these, not bad at all. Now, this coin is hard to scratch with, but it is pulling out some magic. It is pulling out some magic, and if we get a win in one of these two, if we get a jackpot, this coin is gonna be, yeah. This coin is gonna be used on every single scratcher. Doesn't matter how hard it is to use to scratch, it will be used on every single scratcher, okay. No win on 47, moving on to 48. The last ticket, the last chance. But we will have another round, round four, because we do have wins, and not bad at all so far. This is the last one. We're gonna see if we can pull out some miracle. Come on, baby. Let's do it. Okay, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Ooh, last one. Is it the last number? What do you guys think? Last number? Is it possible? Ah, it's not possible. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. We didn't get it. Hey, that's okay. We actually didn't do bad because we did do better than half and that's better than last round. I won't even mention how we did last round because let's just forget it out of our memory. We had fun. We played a lot of tickets. It was good, but we're gonna see if we can do, do better on the next round. This round started off, uh, you know, not great. And then we pulled off two $20 wins, which is, you know, very good, very nice. It's very nice. So we got, uh, let's see, $5 ticket win on 34. We got $5 5X win, one $1 on 39. We got $20 win on 41. And a $20 win on 43. Not too shabby, we got 50 bucks. 50 bucks out of 95, better than half. That's usually what we like to see, better than half. And what we want to see is break even or a big payout. But hey, it's coming, it's coming. We have many rounds and many group buys to go. 2017 has just started and we're gonna hit something. One of our groups, we are, we're gonna hit something big. I know it, I, it's going to happen. Just the odds, the odds tell us it's going to happen. All right, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope group seven enjoyed. Ready for round four? I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to comment down below and make sure to thumbs up. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.